Hi, in this video I will show you how to control any TV using Google Assistant and Google Home with ESP8266 or any IoT device. A prerequisite to have this project working is a Java application hosted in Google Cloud that has an interface with Google Smart Home application and sends MQTT messages to your smart device like ESP8266 or ESP32 or Arduino when you act on Google Home or Google Assistant. Please check the video in the write-up corner to see how to set up this application. Another step that you need in this project is to define a new device TV for you in Google Home using this front-end application. You can also check the video above that explains how to install and configure this front-end application. Here, in my example, I have some devices configured, and now I will configure a new device TV. You have this list, and TV is in the bottom here. Just click, and here is the TV device defined. You need also to take note of this device ID. After you define this new device, you need to define the channels in the Firestar database. As the channel trait was recently created by Google, the front end does not have an example ready for it, so you need to manually add the channels in the database. For instance, I will add three channels. This is the channel trait defined by Google. So we need to have this attribute available channels with these three parameters here. So I will define it in the Firestore cloud. This is for BBC channel. So here I have defined available channels for the attributes, three channels, CNN, BBC, and RAI. You can also see that we have the names and the channel number. We are going to use the channel number for the MQTT messages. Don't forget to add the trait channel here. Now it's time to assemble the electronic parts for this project. Here we have a LED to transmit the infrared signals and also an infrared sensor to receive the data from your remote control. So then you can map your codes from the remote control and then we can use to send it to your TV or cable receptor using the ESP8266. To map your remote control signals, you need to install the library Infrared Remote ESP8266 and then you should open this example here, version 3. Then in my case here, I had to adapt to this pin, D6, according to the schematic that I showed before. And then I load this in my Wemos D1 R1. So then point your remote control to the infrared receiver and press the buttons. For instance, I will press the button zero. So here in the serial monitor, you can see that we receive the, the infrared decoded and then copy this raw data relate to it, number, the button on and off, and also the volume. So this we are going to use in the next Arduino code. This is the code for this project. You can find the code in GitHub. The link is on the description of this video. Basically, we have the libraries that we are going to use, the Wi-Fi for Wi-Fi connection, MQTT client to receive the messages from our broker that's connected to the Java application, the Arduino JSON to decode the messages that is received in JSON format, the infrared remote to send the 
infrared signals to your TV or devices, and then you need to provide your credentials for your Wi-Fi. Here we can see that we included the device ID that we defined previously in this project. Then you also need to provide the MQTT credentials, and here is the code that we map from our remote control that we are going to use. Here in the setup is just to initialize the Wi-Fi and the library for infrared signal, and also to connect MQTT broker that is also completed here in this function connect. And here we also subscribe to the topic that is the device ID dash client. Then whenever we act on the touch control in Google Home or we act on the Google Assistant, we are going to receive a MQTT message in this topic that we will arrive in this function here, message received. So for instance, if we receive the device on that comes here in this variable device on, then we send the signal, infrared signal to our TV to turn on, to turn off. It's the same signal that we mapped from our remote control. And here is the interesting part about the channel. So when we receive the channel 200, that is CNN, then we send digit by digit the infrared signal to the TV, or in my case here, to my cable receptor. So here is the code for CNN or BBC and RAI. So then we send the corresponded infrared signal for each digit. We can also increase the volume on the TV and also change the input for HDMI. So let's see this working. Turn on TV project. All right, turning the TV project on. So as you can see, we received the message on, set to true. Then we have sent the command in the infrared to turn on the TV. Now let's change the channel. Change to CNN. Got it. Switching to CNN on the TV project. So as you can see, we received the channel number 200, and this part of the code here was executed, sending each digit by infrared to the TV, or in my case, to the cable TV receptor. I will change now to BBC. Change to BBC. All right, switching to BBC on the TV project. So now this part of the code here was executed and the channel 202 was sent to the TV. Yeah, that's all. If you have any questions, please put down below and I will answer. Thanks for watching.